She has a channel called... Oh my god. Well, that's just gonna stay there. <laughs> and then... Okay. Because I've heard so many bubble top... I... <laughs> Hey friends, hey friends, hey friends, it's me Alana, welcome back to my channel. Some flowers in a world full of weeds. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Alana. For this video, I wanted to do my first haul of the year. So it's officially 2021, thank goodness. And I have acquired a couple of books. And by a couple, I mean a good chunk of books that I wanted to show you. So these are books that I acquired in November of last year, but then also some that were given to me or sent to me over Christmas. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get started because there's a good chunk. So the first book I bought is volume one of Dazzle by Minari Endo. So this is an old series. I watched the anime a few years ago and I really enjoyed it so I saw that the manga was on sale so I decided to just get the first volume and see how I feel about this and I'm really excited to check it out. I believe it's about a girl whose father kicks her out of the house and tells her to go find an adventure and so she ends up meeting these two guys who she ends up getting involved with and they all end up running into different shenanigans along their way during this adventure, basically. So I'm definitely looking forward to checking this out and seeing if I loved it as much as I loved the anime. Next, I have volume two of Platinum Garden. This, I bought volume one a couple of months ago, so I decided to go ahead and get the second one because it was on sale. So I'm definitely looking forward to checking this out. All right, next I have my book of the month book for December, I believe, and that is This Close to OK by Lisa Cross Smith. So this one is interesting. I think it's about two strangers who meet and end up having a bigger impact on each other's lives than they expected. So I don't know, it just sounded like an interesting read and I figured I would give it a try. So I'm definitely excited to have this in my hands. Next I have Everless by Sarah Holland. I bought this thanks to my friend Kay from I Love Books Okay. They sent me a gift card for Christmas. So I went ahead and grabbed this and another book, which I will show you next. So I bought this off recommendation from Erin from Booked and Busy. She said I would probably enjoy this since I really loved An Ember in the Ashes and it has the same kind of vibe almost or theme. So I'm definitely looking forward to it. It's about a world where time is money basically. So the more time you have, the more rich you are. I guess and it's about this girl who obviously lives in the lower class of the society and just how she's dealing in this world that's kind of the gist I've got from the synopsis so I'm definitely looking forward to checking this out next I bought this because of FOMO because it really seemed like everybody was enjoying this and reading it and I wanted to see if I would enjoy it I know Kay really loved it as well and that is from Blood and Ash by Jennifer L. Armentrout I was said that I really wasn't going to try and read this because it really wasn't my cup of tea, but because Kay loved it so much and Kay was raving about it, it really made me want to check it out and see if I would love it. So I went ahead and bought it with the same good card that Kay sent me, and I'm definitely looking forward to checking it out. I know it involves vampires, and there's a love triangle, and that's about it, honestly, and I kind of want to go in with just that, just so I don't have really any expectations, and I'm definitely excited to check this out. It definitely is a chunker though. Next, I bought The Cousins by Karen M. McManus. This came out the first week of December, so I decided to go ahead and grab it because I've loved all of Karen M. McManus' novels until now, and I figured this would just be another one to add to my list of things that I love that she's written, so I'm definitely looking forward to check this out. It's about three cousins who come back together at their grandmother's house in order to kind of compete for her inheritance, and they haven't seen each other in a while, so it's definitely tense, and there's a whole mystery vibe to it. 
it and they have to deal with like weird things happening at the house and stuff like that so it sounds really intriguing i'm definitely looking forward to checking it out next this is a k recommendation i bought the starless sea by aaron morgenstern i have no idea what this is about i have no idea if i'm gonna like it but I'm gonna jump in and just see how I feel about it and go from there. Next, I bought Red Rising by Pierce Brown because of Erin. She said that I would love this because of the fact that I did love Red Queen. So I'm hopefully gonna enjoy it. I don't really wanna know much about it because I wanna kinda go in like I did with Red Queen without knowledge of what was gonna happen next or what the story is kind of about. I feel like I enjoyed Red Queen because of that and so I wanna do the same thing with this. Next I bought The Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Ruiz Zafon. So I know this takes place in Barcelona, uh, 1945. And that's all I really know. Again, Erin from Booked and Busy really loved this. So I took her word into account and just got it. Next, I also grabbed The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. I figured since I was going to grab The Starless Sea, I might as well grab The Night Circus and see what that's about too. I've heard so many good things. I know it's about a circus and... Uh, I think like two competing acts within the circus or something like that and but they're also kind of maybe in love that's kind of the gist of what I remember but I'm looking forward to checking this out and see if I enjoy it next I have a deal with the elf king by Elise Kova so from this I remember that it's about this village that has a treaty with the elves and so every year they come and they take a woman for the elf king and so the main girl is this year's choice and so she has to deal with the fact that she is now the queen of the elves it sounded really interesting honestly this cover is really what drew me in because it was so beautiful so i'm definitely intrigued and looking forward to seeing what this is about next i have the iron king by julie kagawa so this is about a girl whose little brother is taken into the elf world or like fey world and she has to go in and save him and by doing that she learns a lot about herself and who she really is. I tried to read this uh, years ago and I really wasn't into it but I saw these covers and they're so pretty so now I want to give it a chance again because I am a sucker for some pretty covers and just see if I could enjoy it now that I'm older and have a different taste. I don't know. So next I actually went out and bought the rest of the Red Queen series because I'm totally obsessed now so I figured I should have the rest of the books so that way I could just move on to them and finish them super fast and easily and I'm glad I did it. <laughs> but yeah, so I got King's Cage, War Storm, Broken Throne, and then The Cruel Crown which these two are the novellas and then these two are just the third and fourth book. So I'm definitely looking forward to reading the rest of the series and seeing if I love it. I think I will. All right, so next I'm going to get into the books that I was sent by Simon Teen. So thank you to them for sending me these books. These are some of their beginning of the year arcs slash spring arcs. So uh, some I'm looking forward to, some I didn't really know about, but I'm definitely excited. So the first book I have here is one I'm actually excited to have, and that is A Dark and Hollow Star by Ashley Shuttleworth. So this is basically queer, which I love so much. And it's about four queer teens who basically have to save the human and I think the fey world. It sounded really interesting, so I'm definitely looking forward to picking this up and checking it out because I think it'll be a fun new fantasy. This comes out in March of 2021. Next is another one I'm excited about, and that is A Faux Love Story by Lone Lee. This is about a boy and a girl who both work in their family's restaurants and the restaurants are basically kind of each other's competitors. So the girl and the boy have never really met until one day they do and they have to deal with uh, the fact that they are competitors but they really like each other. So it sounds really cute. I'm really looking forward to this and it comes out in February of 2021. Next is a book that's already out and that is When You Were Mine by Rebecca Surley. So this is about a girl named Rosalyn and she is with a boy named Rob who ends up falling for a girl named Ju Juliet who ends up leading Rob down a very dangerous path and so Rosalind basically has to go save Rob. This is basically a Shakespeare retelling but from the perspective of like 
Rosalind, I believe. Next is the Meet Cute Project by Ryan and Richardson. So this sounds really, really adorable. It's about a girl who has to find a date for her sister's wedding. And so her friends decide to set her up on a Meet Cute. And from there, shenanigans happens, I'm assuming. I think this sounds adorable and I'm definitely looking forward to checking it out. It does come out this month. So definitely check it out if you're looking for a cute, cute story. Next I have In Deep Waters by F.T. Lukens. So I believe this is about a prince who has to go on his like tour of the world or something like that or the kingdom and he meets a pirate by saving his life and then the prince gets kidnapped so then the pirate has to go save his life. That's basically what I got from the story but it sounds really interesting and cute. This one comes out April of 2021. Next I have Bruised by Tanya Boteju. So this is about a girl who discovers the world of of roller derby essentially and like basically finds like a new family in the team or something like that it sounds really intriguing and I think I'm gonna like it and I really like the cover as well so definitely excited to check this out this comes out in March of 2021 as well next I have glimpsed by GF Miller so this is about a girl who is the, her school's like fairy godmother and so she grants all the students wishes until one day she learns that maybe the wishes she has been granting weren't wishes that people actually wanted so she basically goes through this whole midlife crisis so it sounds really interesting and funny so I'm definitely looking forward to reading this so it comes out January of this year next is another book that also came out and that is not Knots and Crosses by Mal Mallory Blackman. So this is about two different races, cross and knots, crosses and knots, and Sefi and Callum both come from the opposite races, and so they have to deal with that and wanting to be together, basically. So it's like a forbidden love type story. Next, I have Your Corner Dark by Desmond Hall. This is about a boy who lives in Jamaica, I believe, and he has to deal with the fact that his um, father gets shot, and in order to pay for, I believe, his father's hospital bills, he has to join up with his uncle and do some not good things in order to make the money so this comes out in january of 2021 okay. and then the last book i received from simon is your heart my sky by margarita ingo so this is about two teens this in this in cuba the summer of 1991 and they have to deal with the tension happening though it's technically peace times it's really not peace times it's about them meeting this summer and falling in love and dealing with the environment that they're in basically this one comes out in march 2021 as well all right and so the last stack here i have are books that i was given as gifts from some wonderful friends so the first book i have here is lucky in love by Casey West. So this was given to me by my friend Chloe from Brunette Blue File. Thank you so much, Chloe. I'm so excited to get to this because I've been dying to read more Casey West books and I'm definitely trying to read all of her backlist stuff. So this is definitely going into my collection. Next I got Little Fires Everywhere by Celeste Ng. This was given to me by my friend Michelle from Michelle Reads YA. Thank you so much, Michelle. I'm so excited to read this. My friend Chanel from Chanel Time really, really loved this book, and I know it's a show on Hulu, so I definitely wanted to give this a chance and check it out and see why everybody loves it so much and maybe even check out the show because I know a lot of people love that as well. And yeah. So next I got... Uh, Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare. This was given to me by my friend Kat from For the Love of Books, so thank you to her. My plan this year is to read through, hopefully, all of Cassie Clare's books, so this will definitely be helpful on my journey to getting through that. <laughs> Next, I have Ready Player One by Ernest Cline. This was actually given to me by my cousin. He bought this for me as a Christmas gift. I read the first one and I enjoyed it for the most part, so I'm definitely looking forward to reading the second one and seeing what happens next. Next, I have three books that were given to me by my friend Teresa. She has the channel Just Bookish Things, though she's been kind of on hiatus, but thank you to her for sending me these. The first book she sent me was Grave Mercy by Robin Lefevers. I cannot even remember what this is about, but I know when I put it on my list, it was really 
intriguing and I was definitely excited to check it out so I am still excited to check it out and hopefully I will enjoy it. Next Teresa sent me If We Were Us by K.L. Walther. So I think this is about a guy and a girl who are best friends and they have to deal with like teenage stuff like relationships and everything like that. So this is really intriguing when I checked it out I'm on Amazon and I'm definitely looking forward to just reading about their friendship because I feel like it's a good one. The last book Teresa sent me was We Hunt the Flame by Hafsa Faisal. So I've heard such good things about this, especially with it being a high story. So I'm definitely looking forward to checking this out. Also, this cover is so pretty to me. So definitely, definitely looking forward to this. Next book I have was sent to me by my lovely friend Jessica from Jessica Nicole Dickerson. So thank you to her for sending me this. She sent me War Cross by Marie Lu. I've been really wanting to read some Marie Lu books lately. So this is definitely very helpful, especially because my friend Monet from Life with Monet really enjoyed this book. So that's definitely a positive thing for me to hear and look forward to reading it. So I'm definitely excited for this. I know it's kind of like a gaming story. Like this girl has to take part in this like online internet game or something like that. So definitely looking forward to checking it out and seeing if I'm right or wrong. I feel like I'm wrong, but next my friend Monet from Life with Then Monet sent me two books. She sent me there's something about Sweetie by Sonia Manon, which I am so thankful for her. I really loved When Devil Met Reese, so this is like the companion novel to that. And I'm definitely looking forward to checking into these new characters, though they're not really new because I believe this focuses on Rishi's brother from the first book, who you meet him there. So I'm definitely looking forward to checking him out and seeing his story in this one. And then Monet also sent me Love Boat Taipei by Abigail Hing Wen. So I'm really excited to check this out as well. I've heard such good things about this. I believe this is about a girl whose parents sent her on like a cruise to Taipei or something like that. And she just gets sucked into the lifestyle and the drama and everything that's happening on the boat with the other kids her age and stuff like that. So I'm definitely looking forward to checking this out and seeing if I enjoy it. Next, I was sent two books by my friend Desiree from Labra. Thank you to her for sending me these. So she sent me Aurora Rising by Jay Kristoff, which I've been wanting to read for a while. I still haven't read a book by him, so I figured this would be a good one to jump into. And then she sent me The Raven Boys by Maggie Stevarder. <laughs> I may have recently said that I don't know if I would ever read a book by her, but I have been looking at The Raven Boys because I've heard so many good things about it. So I definitely want to check it out and at least give her a chance before I completely write her off as a writer. So definitely excited to check both of these out. Thank you so much. And then lastly, my friend Erin from Booked and Busy sent me Miss Born by Brandon Sanderson. This is her basically pushing her Brandon Sanderson agenda because she loves him so much. But I personally am interested in looking forward to seeing if I enjoy this because I also have heard good things about him from tons of people and I guess it's probably time that I check him out eventually. So I have one more thing that I actually bought myself for Christmas and that is the box set of the Cruel Prince trilogy by Holly Black. I'm so looking forward to checking this out. I kind of have FOMO because I've heard so many people talking about this trilogy. So I'm definitely looking forward to checking it out. Also, I couldn't resist getting the all black box set because it was so pretty and it's the Barnes & Noble exclusive and my store had like three left. So I figured why not go big or go home basically. All right, so that is my first haul of the year. Hopefully this didn't get too boring or anything like that. Hopefully you liked the video. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, please leave that in the comment section down below. If you are not good at commenting, I'm gonna go ahead and say leave me an emoji. Let me know a fun book that you got for Christmas that you're definitely looking forward to reading. And if you wanna see more videos from me, please subscribe down below. You are all sunflowers in a world full of weeds.